Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Michael the Two and a Half Stooge, and welcome back to Pokemon White 2. Now, last member of the Elite Four, Marshall. We will be taking him on in this video, and yeah, interesting. Interesting intro here. So, let's see, you're going to appear out of the sky. Okay, maybe we're not out of the sky, but still. Uh, let's see, arrange your team the way you want it to. I think I had mine arranged the way I wanted to. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And save your game. Yeah, I tend to do all my healing and stuff off screen. That's not saving my game. But, come on. Okay. So, saving and doing some healing business and stuff. I got to do that before starting recording, but I'll just sneak that in there before um, the battle starts. Alright. I botched that sentence, didn't I? Martial fighting types. Uh, leading off is going to be Throw. It's one of the weird Pokemon. It's got a lot of HP, and it's just weird. I never seem to be able to one-hit KO it, no matter how high-leveled I am, or what I'm using. Anyway, Rock Team, Bulldoze, St Storm Throw, and Payback as the moves. Uh, they'll be holding Leftovers in hard mode, so that's going to be added to the tankiness it's got. Alright, so Psychic. Should be able to do a decent amount. Yeah, that's going to be, I think, the full restore range. Alright, what was that? Oh, that was Payback. I did not take that into consideration that you had that. Alright, perfect. What do I want to use here then? I could actually bring in Zorark, use Nasty Plot, and then, like, destroy stuff with Flamethrower. And see how far that gets me. Um, yeah, because I know you're definitely going to be using a full restore here. That is full restore range. Like, low yellow and uh, full restore range. So we're going to be using Nasty Plot, and that looks like a Wailord. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so I got that prediction. And I really hope that a plus two flamethrower from Zorark is going to be able to KO, because Zorark does have high special attack. And let's see, flamethrower. I almost hit Dark Pulse, which would have been bad. Unless I got like the lucky flinch or something. Come on, do your thing. Oh my god, it didn't even do half. Alright, my cover's blown. My speed's also falling, although I'm not worrying too much about speed in this case. Ugh! No. Just, just no. I'm sorry, Zorark. Why are you not using Storm Throw? I got lucky. Alright, but now I'm actually going to start worrying about speed. Oh, I'm still faster than you, even at half speed? Cool. But, you're going to go down. <clears throat> Okay, so Monchat's coming in next. I know I'm not going to outspeed you after this. Who do I want to bring in? If I had a ghost type, that would be perfect, because I could, like, lure it into high jump kick, but unfortunately, no. Hmm. Could bring in the real, uh, the middle, because why not? Anyway. Monchat, it's going to have high jump kick, U-turn, bounce, and retaliate, so that's two moves that are super effective against Thorark. Um, in hard mode, it will be carrying extra belt, so it's not an uncommon item in here, is it? Let's see, ice beam. I mean, yeah, that's like that's a that's a thing. Surf rather. Live, live. Oh, God. Slicing through 260 HP. Oh my God. All right, that could be a problem. Calvin, go. Uh, yeah. If you keep landing high jump kicks, I could be in trouble. For those of you that don't know, High Jump Kink is, um... Ooh, wow, I'm faster with Calvin. If, if it hits, it'll do a lot of damage, but if it doesn't hit... Ooh, good, I got the burn, too. It'll, uh... Like, if it misses or something, or if you protect or whatever, then it's gonna deal 50% of the user's HP, which is not fun. All right. Uh, I could take... I could just, like, absorb pretty much anything you can throw at me now. So, uh, I could take this turn to heal just in case, but... You know what, screw it. E-speed. Because I can, and I want to use extreme speed at some point in this battle. Okay, good. Monchai went down. Alright, that's one threat eliminated. So, Conkador is up next. Okay. What to do with this? Conkador is a pain. Uh, it's gonna have Stone Edge, Hammer, and Retaliate, and Bulk Up. It's basically the Machamp of 5th generation. Uh... I'm going to hope for another burn on Flamethrower, which probably isn't going to happen, because that's going to be a 1 in 100 occurrence. Then again, yeah, not even half. Ooh, Stone Age Mist. Okay, I can take that. 
can definitely take that. Um, you're gonna probably use Stone Edge again, because that's the way AI works. You pick the music that's gonna do the most damage. I'm gonna switch out to Lucario, because you four times resist Stone Edge, and it'll do like five damage if it hits. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> I know you also happen to have Hammer Arm, though, which will more than likely uh, kill me at this range if you get it to hit. Because Conkador's base attack is something 140-ish. Yeah. That's a paralysis. That'll help as well. Yeah, let's see what Hammer Arm does. Yeah, I, I didn't think I would love that. <clears throat> so your speed is going down as if it can get any lower because Conkador is slow. And, um... Yeah, paralysis core to speed anyway. So, I don't even... Your, your numerical speed stat is probably like in the single digits now. Anyway, Discharge. I don't think I can survive a Hammer Arm with this either, but I'm gonna try. Ooh, you're paralyzed, so it doesn't matter. Perfect. Another Discharge should take care of you. This is where, like, the small power boost in the form of Thunderbolt could come in useful. Uh, Conkles aren't that either way, it doesn't matter. Alright. I'm gonna get experience. Sock is coming in next. Payback, Rock Slide, Retaliate, and Brick Break. So this is a little bit less threatening than Conkledor, but it's still bad. It's gonna be holding the Muscle Band in, in uh, hard mode. I forget what that item does. Let's see. Uh, you're faster than me too, Brick Break. break. Live. You can live this, right? Good. Ooh, you paralyze. That didn't give you a half and a paralyze. Okay, I got lucky there. Sock has sturdy, by the way, so that's that annoying ability that'll make stuff survive one shots with one HP. Yeah, so. You can have your high powered psychic as much as you want, but it'll still be tanking hits like no there's no tomorrow. Anyway, I should live this. Come on, do it. Ooh, one! Exactly one HP. You go, Ampharos. Alright, so Sock went down. That's Marshall's team, by the way. I keep forgetting to mention that all these Elite Four members will have one more Pokemon in hard mode. In uh, Marshall's case, that'll be Lucario, level 60, Shadow Ball, Aura Sphere, Psychic, and Calm Mind. So, yeah, it'll be holding the Wise Glasses, too. I think that powers up Special Moves. I think earlier I said it powers up Psychic Moves, but I think it's Special Moves in general. Um, yeah, so, that's a pain. By the way, in hard mode, Conqueror will have the Flame War, which will, in conjunction with the Guts ability... Do some very nasty things to you after a couple turns of battle. Anyway, that's it for the Elite Four main members. Uh, these videos aren't the longest, I don't know, but I like to segment stuff, so... We'll save that for later. Talk to the statue in the middle of the room. Talk to the statue in the middle of the room. That probably didn't come out of my mouth the way it was supposed to. And yeah, so, you can walk up this way. Up these massive steps. If you could ride the bicycle, that would be easier, but I don't think you can mount the... Yeah. That's too bad. I want to ride the bicycle up steps. I mean, that's safe, right? Right? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's not. Anyway, in here is the champion, which we're going to be taking on the next part of this playthrough, so... I hope you all enjoyed that. Rick, comment, subscribe, watch some other stuff. I have... I have uh... Really. Have a nice day.